What's going on everyone? This is Zach with Strictly Shisha and it is very late but I am going on vacation next week and then you guys need some information on this product so you guys know whether you want to order it or not. So I'm doing a review today of Khalil Mamoon Tobacco Lemon Mint. If you guys saw my review of the other Khalil Mamoon Tobacco that I have, Ice Cinnamon Gum, it was a very very enjoyable smoke. So I have high hopes for this flavor. I'm smoking today out of a Kalima Moon hookah, why not? Because this is Kalima Moon tobacco, so we'll give tribute to this great brand. I'm using an OG Symphony Bowl and three Dashini Cubes, which I will have a review on. So Kalima Moon tobacco comes in this eye-catching container. I really like the color schemes that they use with this. It is a very um, like authentic looking container, but has a modern twist to it. It's just very uh, synonymous with the Kalima Moon brand. Definitely like the container here. Uh, the tobacco that comes in the container though, it is a undyed tobacco. It's a medium choppy. Um, there are some larger leaves in this. Uh, pretty inconsistent, but more consistent than the ice gum with cinnamon. And there are a lot less stems than the previous flavor that I smoked. Um, I packed this in the OG Symphony Bowl fluff packed. And I'll show you guys here the packing tutorial. I just fluffed it in there, tapped it down underneath the rim, made sure it's nice and even around. And I foiled it, because today I decided to use foil. I have tested this with the Cloud Lotus, even the MIG Razor. I use this in an Egyptian bowl. And today I'm smoking it with the funnel bowl today. And uh, let's talk about the smell. So the smell on uh, lemon mint. Hmm. Definitely getting a cooling smell to the nose. The lemon aspect though is uh, not very strong. It's a very mild lemon. A zesty lemon, but there is some sweetness to it. It's a pretty good smell overall. So how does that translate to the smoke? Let's see. Very nice cloud output from this flavor. So, um, a lemon mint from Kalima Moon. Uh, lemon mints have been around for a long time, and Kalima Moon is a very distinguished brand. Uh, I thought the lemon mint would be a little stronger and just a little better tasting overall. Uh, the cooling in this is very enjoyable. It's a very nice cooling, but it is a little overpowering for the lemon. Uh, the lemon in this is very, very mild. But considering that I'm not enjoying the lemon, um, I don't mind that it's overpowering. When you are smoking this with the Cloud Lotus or any sort of heat management system, you do taste the lemon a lot more. And it is a cross between a fresh lemon zest and a candied lemon. It's kind of like Ugly Tobacco's Lemon Mint. You just kind of get that medium ground, which is nice. You get that zesty like tartness that is countered by a little bit of sweetness in there. So I do like the, um, I guess the attempt on the lemon, but it does smoke a little warm. And you do get that nauseating like citrus burn, which I do not like. So I would say that this tobacco um, takes heat well in terms of the fact that it doesn't burn. But if you smoke it with a lot of heat, you do get that nauseating kind of taste to it. So I'm getting a lot better results today with foil than I was getting with the uh, Cloud Lotus uh, because I can adjust the heat a little bit easier and I can really ease on the heat a lot slower than I could with the Lotus. Uh, when I was using the Lotus, I was using two coals and the flavor was more enjoyable than when I used uh, three coals, which is what I typically use. Uh, I start with three coals, uh, three cubes with the lid off and I usually get great results with most tobaccos. But because the lemon in this does get that burning taste, uh, two coals was all I could use in this. It was still getting great cloud output, so it smokes better in a lower heat environment, and you still get the nice robust clouds. But the lemon in this is not to my expectation. I really thought that Kalima Moon would come out with a wonderful, wonderful lemon mint, especially because a lot of other brands have already done lemon mint, and there are a lot of great lemon mints on the market. Uh, I know Starbucks Mighty Freeze's lemon mint take was very enjoyable and this just was a little lacking. And that's disappointing because the other uh, Clima Moon tobacco flavor that I smoked, that ice cinnamon gum was so good. And like I'm ready just to dump this bowl and pack another bowl of that because that was really, really, really good. Uh, the buzz aspect of this flavor, um, once again, I'm not getting a buzz from this flavor. It is a modern take on tobacco, so you're getting technically lower nicotine levels. 
But if you are a new smoker or someone who is more susceptible to buzz, uh, like my girlfriend, she did get a buzz from this and she enjoys getting a buzz. So there is a possibility of getting a buzz. Longevity wise on this flavor, you will get consistent results throughout the duration. The lemon will calm down a little bit towards the end of the session, but that is expected. And as I mentioned, I don't really care for the lemons. So if it wants to go away a little bit, I do not mind. On the contrary though, uh, my girlfriend says that this is a very good lemon mint flavor. Uh, she likes the cooling aspect in this and she likes the fresh lemon zest taste. Uh, she didn't get a lot of sweetness from this. But then again, I'm also being overcritical of Club Moon Tobacco because I have such high expectations for them. And I know they can produce really great products. So um, if you guys are interested in picking this up, I got this from 5starhookah.com. And I definitely recommend picking this up from them. They are a wonderful, wonderful vendor. And they have a lot of variety of products as well as the whole line of Clue Moon Tobacco when it comes out. Thank you guys very much for watching. And feel free to comment below if you guys want to see reviews of any products in particular. Or if you guys have any recommendations or suggestions. You guys have a wonderful night, guys. Bye. Hi, like a pyramid.